All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Raging Al Iaquinta. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus, he is in his prime, he's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Well, at least on paper, what an even matchup here. Everything between these two fighters is nearly identical coming in here tonight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist and a professional record now. 13 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of what called New York, presenting the challenger, Raging Al Iquipa. And now introducing the champion. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Pakistan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. This is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch all right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Here we go. First round, you ready? You ready? Let's all right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC lightweight champion here tonight? It is time to find out. Caught him with a punch. Raging Al gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those, Joe. He is at his suffocating best here in the early going. And now is where things could get really interesting. There's
was a nice left hand. Working from the mounted crucifix. He gets in a north-south. Side control again. He's got to move. He's in the mounted crucifix now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He's got the mounted crucifix. This is dangerous. Kimura. He's got his arm pinned down. It looks like the Kimura is locked in and tight for him. I believe he's in all kinds of trouble now. This is getting tighter and tighter. He might have to tap. This fight's over. He set it up. It was beautiful technique, and he was forced to tap. Beautiful submission. Yeah, Joe, we know you can appreciate that. High-level jiu-jitsu there executes the submission there, and a nice job, too, in transition to make sure that he was patient enough to set it up effectively, and the end of the fight came shortly thereafter. High-level stuff. And here's the end. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion. And I'm not sure any 155 pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! Well, many argue it's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend, but he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate with the corner. Big finish and a big result.